All right, my friends, so let's take a look at the sample code, these programming stacks for us to explore this grab and release attachment. And looking at this code, we can see that the challenge for, for us is, is to take a look at the features of the media motor and this extension, as well as what are some limitations. And so some of you, if you have experience, may already know this. Um, a couple troubleshooting tips. Um, let me just do this here real quick. If you start with this too far down, all right, you can see here that if we look at the first program of pressing the left button, it's going to move the motor one rotation. If the programming block can't actually reach one rotation, the code will essentially freeze up because it can't move to the next block until that particular block has happened. So in our case, we have motor A set to 30%. We have motor A then going to run clockwise for 100 degrees. Now that one there, if we can't actually get it to drop 100 degrees, you'll see your robot just stop. So let me go ahead and just show you what I mean by that. So if you start with this attachment too far down, and I press the left button, it's going to sit there. And it can't actually move, in our case, the pink block to move the robot um, one rotation at negative 50% speed because it's stuck there. It can't actually get there until it reaches 100 degrees. So if I stop this and I raise this up a little bit and then I run this now and it reaches 100 degrees, then it's going to be able to complete the program. So just something to think about if you are new to robotics and, and the coding and how this works. Now in this particular case, if you look in the program, the idea would be that we would press the left button, and it'll grab our cuboid and then take it back. And you can see here, see what happens? If it's not a perfect pull, in this case it got stuck on top, our ro program, our robot is essentially frozen again. So if I stop this, all right, and I bring this back up, I know I got to squeeze this in a little bit. Just some, some things for you to think about. And now I can complete the task, all right? So as you're looking through these two codes, I want you to be thinking about how does the code work, what is successful or important for you to kind of put in your wheelhouse, your toolkit, but what are some limitations? It's the same thing if we go this route with the right button press. Let's see if we can do this here as well. So if I press the right button, oh, I know you couldn't see that. Let me do this again here. I'll have it come at you this time. So again, you can see it kind of got stuck and it just kind of wheeled down and didn't actually grab it. So we've got some things to think about here. So what I want you to do is play with this code, come to an understanding of the code, and then in the Slack channel, discuss some of the key features and the limitations. And when you're ready, we'll go ahead and move on to the fourth step of this program. All right, my friends, stay awesome. I'm going to go to the hospital.